Hi, it's Delusion of Speller again. I'm going to continue discussing the borderline and the narcissist in comparison. Based on my opinion only and my experiences, I am not a clinical therapist yet. I'm working towards that, working on getting my bachelor's in psychology, but I am not there yet. So be sure you go and check out this information for yourself and weigh it with what you've experienced. Okay, continuing on. The borderline has a shattered, fragmented self-image. Um, it's really who they are because of all the abuse and the trauma they've gone through, but it's an extremely overly insecure and immature, clingy type of image of themselves. The narcissist has a false self-image. It's not really them. It's a portrayal of who they want you to believe they are. They portray themselves usually as outwardly strong and in charge, popular, famous, grandiose, or sometimes they go from hero, rescuer, and even into martyr, whatever will um, provide them with the supply source that they need, that's what they'll become. Both the narcissist and the borderline avoid true intimacy because they do not know how to have a balanced, healthy relationship with people. So they relate through defense mechanisms with other people. Both of them are motivated by deep inner shame. They're both very self-centered. Um, some may be self-absorbed, but not all of them. Some of them can be very giving type people, but there's always strings attached to the giving. At least there usually is. The borderline tends to show remorse and repentance if they realize they've hurt you, whereas a narcissist really does not relate to any of your deep feelings of pain and sometimes does not care about them. They cannot empathize. They can't put themselves in your shoes. Um, so it's kind of like squashing an ant. The ant felt the pain and I didn't, so why should I care? Um, they basically feel that since their actions didn't hurt themselves, how could they possibly wound you? Um, both cause you to walk on eggshells and to stuff and ignore your feelings to avoid confrontation or fights with them. Both will blame you for things that go wrong. Both require you to please them and will only give back to you in order to woo you or keep you with them. Uh, both will go from one type of a person to another. Uh, they'll, their personalities, they'll act sweet and kind and loving to get what they want, but then suddenly can turn into a monster, kind of a Jekyll Hyde type of thing. Borderlines can show more empathy than narcissists, but in both, your feelings are generally ignored, put down, minimized, or totally dismissed, and you're made to believe that you are the one needing the help. Both can live through denial though borderlines will often recognize that they have issues and not know how to change, but they want to. Narcissists, on the other hand, will deny that they have issues or need to change and will instead blame everything on you. Both the narcissist and the borderline distort reality over into their version of it. Both of them can live in a type of fantasy world. The borderline will paint you to be just like others who have abused or left them. Um, they're very suspicious and paranoid about things that they imagine you're about to do to them or that you're about to hurt them in some way. They'll get very defensive over perceived slights. Narcissists will paint you to be a scapegoat to blame you for anything that goes wrong, and they'll even gaslight you into thinking that you're crazy or delusional, even though they're the one with the problem. Both the narcissist and the borderline will monopolize all your time, will pull you away from friends and family. They call this isolation. Both will devalue and value you alternately based on what it is they're trying to do. But the borderline will value and reject you if they perceive you are about to end their relationship or leave them. They'll say things like, I didn't mean it, honest, please don't leave. But on the other hand, they hate you and wish they never met you. So it's kind of a flip side thing. On the other hand, the narcissist devalues you if she perceives that you're not enthralled by her anymore. Whether you're going to leave them or not, if they even sense that you don't think they're the best thing on the planet Earth, all of a sudden, I wish I never met you, you're crazy, you're nuts, um, you're ugly, you're fat, um, I don't want to be seen with you. So they go from buying you the sun, moon, and stars to really hating you in the end and devaluing you. It's kind of a love me or else you're going to pay type of thing. Um, I'm going to end this there, and I will pick up on the next video because I want to keep these down to five or six-minute segments. This is Delusion Dispeller, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye.